our viewers making the best of it and you're sharing it with us. Valley News Live uploading your photos from our Valley News Live weather app or online. Shanna here enjoying just a spring like day sitting on the is that a snowbank? I think it's a snowbank, but we make do. Now, speaking of which, this basically describes many of the roads across our region uh, without words. Just get your skates out and that's how we do it. All right, well, I'll tell you what, more slippery roads are in the forecast and some pretty significant snowfall amounts. And we'll take this moment right off the top to remind you that we've had a lot of snow in many of our counties over the last a week to three weeks. And because of that, there's a lot of weight on our roofs and we got more on the way by tomorrow night. Now, it's not a bad idea to check those and professionally have those cleaned off tonight. Wind breezy east and temperatures because of the clouds increasing and the wind stirring things up won't be as cold, but we'll still be near 10 degrees. That's how we start your Tuesday. The first half of the day delightful, quiet temperatures warming to near 30 and with warmer temperatures. That means more water can be in the air and that means heavier weather snow can develop and that's what will begin taking place in the afternoon. Pausing this at four o'clock. If you're driving home along the South Dakota border, these wind arrows that are well, blue to green would indicate 15 to 30 mile per hour wind gusts with this snow. That's no picnic to be driving through. So our southern counties will see an impact for the Tuesday evening commute. But up here in Fargo, Grand Forks, Devils Lake and Lakes Country, pretty quiet for most of us. Now, there's going to be a brief period of gusty winds with this where you see these green arrows as the snow makes its way through. And we will have some enhanced snowfall potential. One to two inches per hour, maybe even a little bit more. And in the far south, check out the timing on this dinner time. Temperatures are at a peak. We have a weather maker making its way through. I think we could hear some rumbles of thunder snow or maybe thunder sleet. Best chance of that will be far south. Would you let us know if you hear any of that? Be on the listening for that. All right, checking this out. When does it get to the valley? Southeast North Dakota evening time. Then as we go from about seven to nine, it moves right through Fargo, Wapiton, Breckenridge, all the way through the uh, Wilkin County area into Lakes Country. A band of very heavy snow continuing as we go into the overnight hours to shift north and east through places like Park Rapids, uh, Bagley and Bemidji into the late evening and overnight hours. Now as we go to bed, well, this thing is out of here just as fast as it got here and the north winds not as bad as the last few storms we've seen rumble through with their strong gusty north winds about 15 miles per hour. So when this one moves through and out of here, we'll have a chance to clean the sidewalks and get that road uh, condition improvement by the lat latter part of the day. Take a look at this now. There it's going to be a wide area of four inches. That's what this dark blue means four to eight. A few of you in the narrow band will see eight or more inches of snow. We're going to see spotty eight to 11 inches of snow the way things are looking. Many will see one to four inches inside this lighter shade of blue, rapidly diminishing mounts north. Do not be surprised if this shifts a little bit to the north or south yet as models are just coming in. There is some indication that band could shift north which means up in places like Hillsboro, Halstead, you'll have a chance. Temperatures now, look at this, warmest out in Lakes Country, near 20 there, seven in Jamestown. As the clouds move in, temperatures will warm or at least stabilize. Snapshot, afternoon, snow south, moving north, uh, wind gusting out of the east, upwards of 30 miles per hour, and temperatures near 30, meaning a sticky snowball making snow event working its way through mainly in the overnight hours. Best chance of the heaviest snow here in Fargo will be after six, but before 10 as it moves into Lakes Country, quieting down in the overnight hours. So most of Wednesday in the afternoon looking quieter and hopefully not too windy either. Temperatures cool, the closing of the work week, the weekend looking quiet. That's not the case for the upcoming week. Another shot of unspring like conditions. <laughs> we're, we're not even melting much snow with that forecast. Temperature is not even warm enough for that. There's some good and some bad to that. We'll get into that yeah. as the flood is becoming more of a concern for you. Mm. You've been asking about it and we'll yeah. get you more information on that. Thanks, Hutch. Well, you may be tired of the seemingly never ending snow, but with a little creativity, two Bismarck sisters oh. managed to make a garden out of a snow hill. Uh, Emmeline okay. Ivy has the story. <laughs> if you look closely between the mounds of snow, you might just find a hint of spring. We've just had like a lot of snow this winter and I think it'll make people smile. Spring is on the way with a little help from the Nowatsky sisters. <laughs> they decided to spruce up their neighborhood by upholding a community tradition. It was our neighbor's idea. She asked us to help because she used to do it with 
her daughter, Destiny, who is off to college, I think now. The girls hope the flowers serve as a reminder that warmer times are on the way. It's just nice to think of spring Ooh, okay. instead of all the snow that we've gotten. If you're lucky, you might just catch their masterpiece before the next snowfall. Inflation continues.